Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to thank you so much for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. Today, we have a great vlog for you where we attended the small ruminant program launch being hosted by the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. It was a great event where we saw likes like the permanent secretary, Dermot Spence, Dr. Asbill Watson, the Minister, Honorable Floyd Green himself, and the president of the association, Mr. Trevor Bernard. It was a great opportunity for us to basically discover and get an overview of what this program will contribute to the sector. And at the same time, see how is it that we can position ourselves to benefit from this program. So that was kind of the conversation I had afterwards with Mr. Bernard, who is the host for this vlog that will kind of inform us on how farmers can better prepare themselves and how is it that we can position ourselves to capitalize on this grand opportunity which i believe would have some impact on the sector the overall impact is to have an incremental increase of five percent of small ruminant production a five percent reduction in the imports of meat so farmers let us position ourselves to be better in what we achieve to do as in developing a more right, sustainable guys, small ruminant uh, sector. We're here on a farm and we're about to discuss with Mr. Bernard um, this presentation or meeting that we just came from is the Small Ruminant Development Program um, being led by the Ministry of Agriculture. So I just wanted to give him a you know, get some feedback from him, ask him a few questions regarding how is it that the Small Ruminant Association is going to benefit from such operation. So Mr. Bernard. Yes, Kali. I saw you on the podium today, you know, making a lovely speech regarding yes. the Small Ruminant Association, the Ministry collaboration and the impact of small farm. They want to give us a small overview on how this way work and what you think it will be. The, the outcome of a project, this project. All right, so this is a very big spend. As you know, the minister um, said he was going to spend about what, $50 million? Yes. It's $50 million. But otherwise, from that $50 million, he mentioned about $30 million also being spent among the other organizations within the Ministry of Agriculture. So, you know, you have the Bordels and, you know, RADA and so forth. And among all of these other um, arms of the Ministry of Agriculture. They are going to be having training seminars. They're going to be having training on husbandry, nutrition. You know, all the best practices will be done. Um, that was one aspect of it. Also, there's going to be the genetics part of it. Yeah, you know, we can talk a little bit about the genetics. I think that's a big thing for everybody. What, 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 what is, what was the major achievement? Um, farmers supposed to expect from this genetic? Well, we are, we are hearing that we are going to get live animals. They are going to import live animals to Jamaica. That's one big part of it. The second part of it is that they are going to also be importing semen and embryo. I don't think the embryo is meant for everybody. I think it's more the breeder sides. Okay. Yeah, or, or a farm that can demonstrate they can manage the process. That's it's right. expensive. Because right. it's a very expensive process. So they are going to bring that and bring and, and along with semen. Now one of the things, Khalil, is that who are the people who are, who are going to be beneficiaries of such a program? Mm -hmm. Now, such a program. The farmers that are going to be benefit are members of the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica. Farmers who are, who are in good standing with the association is going to benefit. Because Khalil, as you know, when a project comes out like this, the government cannot just go anywhere and just give away things like that. It don't work like that. It has to be, there is accountability. And when they do it, there has to be this thing called, let's use the word record keeping. They have to, there has to be traceability. They have to look at a project like this and say, well, I did this, this farmers, and this is the result because we spent our money doing this. Right? You, you agree with me? Of course, you have to hold. If in government, you have, you have internal auditors, external That's auditors, inter integrity commission. Right. So even though they might want it to go to everybody, you have to be accountable. Yes. So it cannot be just any farmer who will take it and probably sell the animal the next day or right. don't really materialize the outcome. So I get you. It, right. it can't be for it we're going to it have to be tailored. I have to meet a particular criteria That's for you to correct. benefit out of it. Yeah. That's correct. So the, the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica will be the driving force 
behind it. So you have to be you have to be a member of RADA. Yes, no doubt. And you also have to be a member of the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica. So we had some and another thing to note is that this is a Ministry of Agriculture project. Yes, no doubt. It is a Ministry of Agriculture project. And also the driving force behind this project will be Dr. Watson at the Veterinarian Division. Yes. He is the project coordinator. He's basically yeah, he's basically the chairman for the this chairman project. Chairman for this for this for project. This project. So it will be led by VSB. That's correct. Pretty good. So we are going to have three um, sub committees mm -hmm. and those subcommittees will have members and each submitted one of the things will be the registry yes. registry is a big part of all of this because you know Khalil if you don't have a registry if you are not doing record keeping you don't know what you have you don't know where you are you don't know the lineage of your animals you don't know about you know what you always talk about traceability and you know you can't be able to do that how will you know that this ram is producing the best kids you're getting the best weaning weight from this ram but that ram over there is not giving me the best mm -hmm. you can't know these things so you'll be just there putting the ram and just breeding away and you're, and you're not seeing the results you don't you're not seeing the, the you're not maximizing your um your, your results all right so our next question for you regarding this small room in that launch um what what would you advise farmers at this point to do to prepare for receiving benefits from this project outside of joining RADA, outside of joining the Small Winter Association, what else do you think farmers should, should do? You have to have a good facility. Mm -hmm. The government or you know the people who are going to be making this, 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 these decisions want to make sure that their money is well spent. We need to be able to see that when they spend their money they can come back one year or five years from now and stand up and say well animals were bred here this is the genetics from this animal i see this genetics there and i see it you know in saint elizabeth and i see it in saint mary and we see it spread all over the island value for money, value for money. Yeah. and so they have to have you have to have an organized farm you have to be practicing record keeping you have to have good husbandry good facility you have to have a good nutrition program yes. and Khalil that's one of the reasons why tied to this is the fact that they are saying that they are going to do training on nutrition training on record keeping training on you know all these different things that will affect your operation and really and truly Khalil we are talking about intensive farming yeah, I think that's the direction we're that's the heading. direction we are heading yeah. we I don't think we are interested anymore in a man tying out the boat you know tying out the boat in the bush like this that's not what we are that is not what we are interested in we want intensive farming and we want we want to see large and big growth yeah, we're heading towards that whole commercial aspect now, so right the system going to change but what i can say it was it was really good seeing our next ministry push into the smart sector i think the minister actually um, living up to his word yes and i love to see this stakeholder collaboration between everybody coming together to say hey this is what we want to achieve and i do hope that the small Meat association and its members really position themselves because it's not yes. the time for us to debate the time for us to, is to come together pool all our resources and get as much as we can out of this opportunity because i see here you talk about bringing in live animals i think it's important that if farmers who have the money they can bring in their own live animals should put some money where their mouth is and capture that opportunity well i won't tell you what i did while i was there and you know the permanent secretary mr spencer we were having some discussion along with um you know with the veterinarian even dr watson and we asked him and one of the things that came out of this, they are going to be bringing live animals. The directives were given by the Permanent Secretary and the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. Green, that live animals will be imported into the country. The directives have been given. And I asked, and we had this discussion, anybody in Jamaica, any one of the small ruminants association members, that want to bring live animals to Jamaica. Just join up with this project because we can you can buy your own animals and bring it along with the project. This is a this, this is a big opportunity, Khalid. It's an amazing opportunity. It's a meaning opportunity that <laughs> yes. has come forward. Yes, it is. So 
all the farmers, anybody, right? As long as you have your money and you want to buy full bread and whatever it is that you want to buy now, the opportunity is here. Because what is going to happen now, we can bring animals from the USA, which is what they said, from America. We can put them together and bring it as one large shipment because this opportunity is here. Small Women and Association working for the people. I like that. I like yes. That. I like that. Yes. So big, big. I, I think it's a big take today of just this announcement. All right, guys. Um, thank you for for following us. I hope you hear the news from Mr. Bernard himself and what is taking place for you as small women and farmers. Um, what I could say is that, guys, prepare yourself. Um, position yourself to benefit from these projects. Normally, it's just it just really take you to put yourself now in a better position to can achieve the best benefits from such a system. Position yourself to benefit. From. That's correct. It's about positioning yourself. And Khalil, as you know, the Small Ruminants Association work hard to try and get the best deals all the time for the farmers. We really work hard. I mean, you and I put a lot of work into this all the time. And, right. and, 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 and not just we, Cardi and all the different... Every, yes, you have a lot of agencies A lot of this. agency behind this. And we really put in a lot of work. People might not realize, you know, how much meetings we go to weekly and visiting farms all over the island. You know, we really put a lot of work in it and we are so happy for this to be happening. I agree.